There's no going back. There's no going back. There's no going back. But apparently there is going back. Apparently 13.772 billion years. Just years and years and years and years and years. And some might say, the speed of light has changed. Over time, so... Uh, no, 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 it's constant. Oh, okay, thank goodness. Because now the speed of thought is even faster, and this, and that, and who knew, and this. No, lost in spectrums. A spectrum is in fractals of fractals. But there's no going back. There's, there's only resolve. Resolve over disobedience. Our mortality. There is resolve. For what is truth. Yes. The way in life. Forever. But no it couldn't be right. No 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 it has to be just a bash. Blast of bash. Energy happened. seven, thirteen 13.772 billion years ago. Yes. And Earth is some bash. 4.6 or 3 point bash, whatever. Bash. Years old and this and that and this and that. Who knows? And who knows? What is this? Right? Because life is timeless. Timeless. Life is timeless. Life is eternal. It's only your bash interpretation of, oh, I only lived 40 years. Oh, he, he died too young. Or, nah, that bash is living too long and he's in power. Just, oh, why can't he just die? And this and this, right? And, oh, no, 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 the children and bah. What's going on? So apparently... Life is also priceless. It's priceless. But oh no, you put a tag and a price on it and a bash trade it in the open market and go sell yourself relentlessly. Go out there, buddy. Pick any character and then go smash a path. And if it doesn't smash hard enough, well, bash, try harder and go smash and create another character and smash even harder. So... Apparently, life is timeless, and life is priceless. Absolutely. Yet somehow, we perceive it as being, oh, it's only 13.7 bash billion years old. As far as we know, but life on Earth started a, a much earlier, or much later than bash Whatever, it's, uh, it's relative the train is coming to you or that you're going towards a train. Or this, is it's all relative, but there's no such thing as bash. There's no such thing as going anywhere. There's no such thing as resolve. No, it's all just nothing. What a shame. Clearly, there is a resolve in what is lived. For what is lived is eternal. Yes, there's nothing new. there's nothing new under the sun. It's life, the true promise, life. With our creator. Yet. We disobeyed. We fell outside of God. In our. Doubt. Seeing ourselves. Separate somehow. Oh no. Oh no. What? No. I'm naked. What? What? Who knew? Somehow now self-aware. No self. No. It's me. And. That's it. It's just me. It's just me. There's nothing else, everyone. It's just me. It's just me and my past relativity and smash. Who knew? What a shame. What a shame, right? But no, no, no. You can go back to your past childhood traumas and oh, try to overcome. But no. Now you're in your past midlife crisis and you're, oh, you stop it's about time. And oh, I forgive. But no, you're just proud. 
You're proud of all the work and all the transformation and all the bash mantras and bash check marks. You can bash, check off a list of bash things that somebody told you to do somehow because it's just the enlightened way and this and that. And it's just so mindful. Oh, you're just so mindful and you're just becoming the best version of yourself. And you're just transforming and transforming and bash, metamorphosizing and metamorphosis. But you can't. You can't. you have to do the work. Put in the work. Come on. Just believe in yourself and love yourself relentlessly. Yes. All the way back to bash 13.772 billion years ago. Because before that, there was no such thing as love or, you know, bash anything. There wasn't even anything. It was just bash. It was just a bash. It's, it's just a bunch of smash. And somehow it's just a smashing. And it was bash, bash. But somehow along the way, all these things just became more complex and complex. And, complex. and now love is the ultimate complexity, right? It's just got so complex, man. It's so many types of love and this and that and this and that and that. No. There's only our first love. The only love. Of eternity. Of the creator. Of God. Yes. It loves. Eternally. Yes. Who knew? It loves in. Its creation. In the father's creation. Yes. It loves. In it with it. And he created man. In that. In his image, in his likeness. But then man chose to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and his eyes were opened to that. Who knew? So now we see ourselves as, oh, it's just me. It's just me and that's it. No, oh, there's no such thing as a bash creator who loves me. No, because I'm just here desolate. And it's just desolation and desolation and bash people just, oh, it's horrible. And this and that. Well, yeah, exactly. You don't see that the, the, the terror that people are living is exactly being carried out by the same people that you say that you love. Wow, what a shame, right? Everybody's just out there smashing and then crying about it and then justifying why there's no such thing as a loving God. The only loving God. The creator of all. And of course, in our disobedience, there is a resolve because it's God's creation. There is resolve in the Father's creation. Who knew? No, 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 no. It's just up to us to determine our future, people. Just come on. We're going to smash our way somewhere and just smash and smash. Well, what a shame. That is the deception. The counterfeit life. That Satan has surely bash deceived us into worshipping. All the while carving out a bash little career and character for ourselves. That's good enough to just sustain us uh, as long as we keep transforming. Because we're the relentless transformers, everyone. Didn't you know? The eternal cube, somehow. Oh, what a shame, right? This and that and this and this and this and that. But somehow, there's no such thing as a loving father. Who begot his only son, Christ Jesus. To live sinless as a sinless man on earth to reveal to man who knew and was sacrificed. He was the lamb that paid with blood the sins of the world. The, the terror that you look outside and bash justify that there is no God, that's because of man. 
And Jesus Christ was given up, was given up by the world, just murdered by the world because of it. And God knew it. That's the resolve. The resolve, of course. There's no going back and bash. Oh, the bash future. No, no, no. It's just standing under the only authority, the only lawmaker, and the only lawgiver. Our father, our father. Who calls to us relentlessly. Offering the waters of life for those who choose to drink from it. Those who seek the wisdom of the Father through the way, the truth, and the life. And put their faith in our Lord Savior Jesus Christ. The ultimate resolve. To the, the disobedience of man. And he has revealed to us what the living shall endure. Until a generation where the earth as we know it f falls away for a new heaven and earth. Is brought forth by God. Who knew? No, 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 it couldn't be. No, 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 it couldn't be. So life restoreth as Jesus Christ defeated, right? Death. Revealed to man that death, well, defeated. So now it's you, if you continue believing that there is such a thing and keep bash worshiping it, then of course, forever be outside of God. For the truth has been now lived out as a man in the flesh. In water and blood. But no. He was just some bash. He was just, oh, he's our big brother. And this and this and that and this and that. and that. Ah, he, said, he was just a nice speaking man. He said nice things. And well, yeah, but the crucifixion was very common back then. And he was just another smash that just was, you know, somehow bashed. He's just a relentless archetype, okay? Guys, he's an archetype. And ultimately, it's the sun worship, right? Because, oh, he was born on the 25th. A bash this, this. A pastor died on the 25th. And then he rises up, 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 up. No. No. The word of God is timeless. Timeless. Filled with wisdom. So we may understand the resolve that is being lived. And where is it that we put our faith? For truly every man has faith. He could just deny he doesn't. Or he admittedly just says, of course. I have faith in myself. I believe in myself relentlessly. Because I've been betrayed and backstabbed so many times, I just can only do that. I have to think about myself. Uh, don't you know? I have to think about myself so I can get ahead. Because yeah, everybody, it's just a doggy dog world. Who knew? <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? There's no going back. No. There's living. Life. Forever. 
Yes, the true promise. So what are we could what are we doing continuing just bash worshiping death and trying to like bash cure cure death because death is a disease people don't you know right uh, soon there's going to be some bash ribbon that you wear some bracelet that so oh, well, let's let's fund this so all our scientists and our best teams can bash come up with the cure for death everyone right Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Yet, somehow, scientifically, oh, it all makes sense, people. Didn't you know? Our a ancient aliens were just created, created us. Just like we create things to be bash obsolete, bash so people keep buying. We they did the same to us. And this, and then, and then, thought it, and then, thought it. No. That's using Satan's logic to blind you from the truth. You don't want to see the truth because you, what you call truth is way better. It's way better in the sense of it's what you believe. So you couldn't possibly be wrong. So therefore, you believe it. Of course. And it's like that for everyone. For if a man was honest with himself, he would say, yes. What is there actually to know in life? What is there to know in life? Right? To know. No. Be aware of through observation, inquiry, or information. Have developed a relationship with Someone through meeting and spending time with them. Be familiar or friendly with. What is it that a man comes to know in life? No matter how long he may come to be said to have lived. What is a man? What is a man's... Come, what does a man come to know? Exactly. Uh, er, the only thing that a man comes to know is his creator or his denial of a creator and his bestowing of his own crown as his creator of his own life. And worshipping the ways of the world that promote such engagement, such selection of your avatar, supposedly. And using your observation to just best judge how you're doing as far as doing the best source of inquiry to your best pushing forward and advancement and betterment and this and this through information because somehow information is knowledge to you. Information. Inquiry. Be, just ask for lightless questions, people. Don't believe a thing anyone says. Just ask, 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 for you can never come to know a thing in life, people. Just bash, be, be the skeptic. It's good to be skeptical. Uh, it's just good, 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 because it's CFCs, people. Most people know that CFCs can damage the ozone layer. Most people know. They know. They certainly know for a fact. They know it. They've seen it. They do it. So, therefore, they know. Somehow. Whoa. CFCs, everyone. So, you can come to no relentless things, you'll say, right? Oh, well, I can come to know so many things. No. No. For a man is here surely to see it the truth. And realize the resolve. And recognize that his knowing is leading him to bash at an, an eternity 
outside of God forever. Meaning, everything wrong that you could come to say is wrong with life as we know it on earth. Everything that is wrong on earth is a result of the relentless things to come to know and to come and be able to manipulate and bash, 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 and bash, push some image, push some image that has a, so many different resolves. It could have this resolve, but depending on this other thing, which is so, so cold, complex, and it's just, whoa, it's a bash, it's a life on its own. And you can go out there, live with it, and create bash a life of yourself. So it smashes with it and somehow it smashes you back. Well, just relentless. Right? So if a man was honest with himself, he'd say, Yeah. I absolutely. What's what is there to know? There's nothing new under the sun. It's life forever. A repenting of our disobedience. Because we all know that our bashed, rebellious, bashed, dishonorous ways are the root of every single bashed suffering that we could ever come to fathom. Come to, oh, go back and realize the trauma of this. And no, smash. For everybody's out there getting abused and abusing. For those are the ways of the world, the ways of engagement. Depending on what you know, buddy. Oh, you didn't know? No, I didn't know. What? Well, you're supposed to. Didn't you know? Oh, common knowledge, right, people? You're supposed to know. Oh, this and that and that. Common knowledge. Yeah, common knowledge. No, I just do whatever I want. And bash this and that and that. Wow, who knew? And that and that. No, 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 no. You're supposed to follow this and that. Uh, come on. Uh, do you have no heart, people, in this? And that? Don't you know? Don't you know what it is to be alive, people? Right? People are crying. And, oh, don't you know you're harming Gaia and just destroying life on Earth? Don't you know, people? Oh, what shame, right? Just begging, just crying, not having a clue, just relentlessly, savagely, just tossed. Just somehow just manhandled like hamburger meat just bash and this bash relentlessly bash laid out in the sun left to dry to turn into some hamburger jerky what is going on somehow you know it all somehow you know it all or you just know enough and I'm taking courses but the bash no more but somehow I just need the paper in the end that says I know these things. And therefore I can just add it to my bash piece of paper. And then based on what I know is how I advance somehow and may have a better life. Don't you know, buds? It's just apparently I ha the more information I know, the more I uh, skillful I become. <gasps> wow, I just become so skilled and bash and manipulating and pushing even harder. Oh, who knew? Exactly. Those who engage in it get rewarded for engaging it with it more. Who knew? It's a like, goat, the bash. Oh, you love it. Okay, I'll go get more. Bash, push, press the button. Bash, inject me more. Inject me. I need it. Give me more. Oh, okay, good. I get it one. I got a raise. Yes, amazing. Give me some more. I'll do more and I'll learn more and I'll do more. Yes, yes, it's give me more. I'm savagely amazing. Didn't you know, bud? Oh, I thought you knew. Well, now you know, right? So now I know that. Whoa. No, 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 no. What is it to know? What possibly can you come to know in life that is priceless and timeless? Yes, your creator. God Almighty and his saving word. That was revealed to man as a sinless man who lived on earth and died as a man.
just like any other man, right? He, his bash, his cold, his 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 body got cold, right? Yet he rose from the dead. How? Through God. That is a resolve, but no, it's is impossible to you. And somehow nobody could know. No, nobody could know that. Nope. There's no such thing as certainty. Resolve. Nope. No such thing. For there's no such thing as truth. And that guy said he was the truth. No, 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 no. He wasn't. He was. It was just nice things that he said and this. And no, if there's no such thing as truth, people. Nope. There's no such thing as faith and bestowing it and a certainty. Because ultimately there's no certainty and it's all doubt and just relentless never achieving and never obtaining any sort of absolute no knowing because we can have multiple knowledge sources of whatever you want, but you can't know it all unless we enhance our brain to be able to just smash everything and smash and smash even harder through our bash manipulation and bash enhancement abilities. Didn't you know? Right? 13 point bash something billion years old. Yeah, you know that. Wow. Amazing. Now somehow life is better because I know that. And there, everyone's like, yes, because it's because you know that, that we have everything that you have. Just look outside. It's everything. Because, because we know those things. Because we know those things is because why we have everything that we have. Wow, what a shame. That's what a bash, traumatized, brainwashed person says about some abuser. Right? It's like, no, 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 He was actually feeding me the whole time. I ate three times a bash. You, I wouldn't have lived if it wasn't for him. But he, I wouldn't have, oh, guys, don't you see the beauty? I was abused, but then look, he was feeding me. Without him, I would have had nothing. I, I would have died. Wow, who knew that in our doubt, in choosing the knowledge of good and evil, now we see ourselves alone somehow. We're hiding from God somehow, ashamed. And blaming everyone else. Because surely, no, 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 it's just, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, everyone. I'm good. I'm a decent person. I just don't harm anyone. I don't do that. I don't do anything. And yes, one day I'll just die, but it doesn't matter, right? Because a man, well, in the da in the in the state of feeding from that which promised you what you already had, therefore deceiving you in a deceived state, who knew that you would die? For there's no such thing as life outside of God, yet you were deceived to believe that there was. And it is God's resolve that even though man disobeyed, of course there's a, a resolve for his creation. He created man in his image, in his likeness. So how could there not be a resolve for man? Of course there is. And now, of course, what do we know? Do we know the truth? Or do we know everything else? Wow. No, 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 Guys, it couldn't be. Right? Because we know that bash, we accelerate so many things fast and fast and so fast. And that's how we know everything, people, because without it, somehow we're coming to know that, well, maybe the ancient, you know, Vedas and this and that and Bash and Hindabash and all the gods of the Hindus and this and Bash, they were just amazing. They knew, they knew it all, people. They knew it all. Somehow they're millions of billions of years old and uh, they bashed somehow the knowledge and they just could fly in circles and bash, smash, bash light into itself and bash, see what happens. And just two circles, people, didn't you know? It's just two circles, you bash them, and bash speed it fast enough, and then just smash it. And that's, 
And that's telling us to close the living people because life is not life. So life is not life until we smash it hard enough and see what it actually is. Because nope. Surely everything around us is just some sort of bash illusion. And bash, we're in the matrix. And bash and this and that is a bash simulation. And bash this and this and that. And this, there's a higher self and a lower self. And somehow we just have to be in the middle. So that's why there's two circles trying to find a smash balance. And bash, we're going to be able to manipulate that bash cycle. And bash, just fuel ourselves to be relentlessly self-sustainable. We could just, we don't even need the sun. Because the sun will bash die one day, but we j- we won't even need to bash soul sun. Eh, we'll just bash. They'll smash the little marble just that just kicked forever. Just kicked around forever. Because it became so self-sustainable that it just hacked. It hacked its own creation. It hacked its own, how it came to be all just the how what it was. And it hacked it. And now it just became itself forever. Just bash. Desolate by itself. Somehow it doesn't even need the bash hot sun to bash heat it anymore. Because somehow it's just we're just so relentlessly self-sustainable. Thank you, everyone. Everyone everyone did great work. Thank you for putting all the bash generational work into it. And bash bringing it forward. Because, oh, it's just so good. It's just so good. Because it just charged particles that just smash at very high speeds, didn't you know? And high energies. And with them, wow. They have beams. They have beams. So many beams. Large accelerators are used for basic research in particle physics. Who do? <gasps> I want to be able to smash more dust and make new dust somehow. The most powerful accelerator currently is the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. Near Geneva, Switzerland, built by the European collaboration CERN. Amazing, right? CERN. All the bash conspiracy circles love it. It is a collider accelerator shoot which can accelerate two beams of protons to an energy of 6.5 dV and cause them to collide head on. Just head on. They know that they're going to. They know. They know they're going to collide head on. They knew. And. And they smash them harder, creating center of mass energies of 13. So they double it. They double it. Other powerful accelerators are KB, KEKB at Keck in Japan, RHIC and Brookhaven National Laborator- Laboratory, where they lobotomize you. And the Tavitron at Fermilab, who Batavia, Illinois. Accelerators, well, there's so, there's so many people. They're out there smash, circling, smashing particles head on. Who knew? Who knew because it's just so fun? Didn't you have a train set as a kid, everyone? Oh, don't you love the Polar Express? Oh, well, it just goes around and around and around and kicks around and around and, around and they just smash us. Well, don't they have this all wrong? Because isn't it the Earth? That's following the sun, right? So the light is going, they have it backwards. The sun, they have the light going around in bash circles. Right? The beams, the well-defined beams, they have the well-defined beams going around in circles to try and find out more about particle physics. Well, what a shame. Shouldn't it just be bash one bash bash sphere of energy of ball five bash far a plasma that you should, should be studying instead of bash little circles where you just speed things around and bash things? No, no, no. Of course you're like, well, we are also we have a relentless centri- just bash spheres of energy everywhere. Don't worry about it. We have all the research going on, but this is the one that we will love to post and put out there and just give you to you as certain. It just people, we haven't found the 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 bash. Genesis particle yet, but we've gained so much knowledge, people. With it, we've been able to smash you even harder. Who knew? 
For the study of condensed matter physics, smaller particle accelerators are used in a wide variety of applications, including particle, ther particle therapy. Whoa. For oncological... Oh, I can't even say this, Bash. Oncological. Oncological, of course, purposes. Radioisotope. Whoa. Radioisotope, of course. Production for medical diagnostics. Ion implanters. For manufacture of semiconductors and accelerator mass spectrometers. <laughs> of course, everybody's like, yes, I know everything and I know how all of these things work. Amazing. Let's move on. For measurements of rare isotopes such as radiocarbon. Wow. So you can just test, 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 test. Measure, 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 test. Wow, we know it all, people. We know it. This is what we know, people. And this is what uh, we don't know it all, but this is just a peek into into what life uh, is because we can't know, come to know an absolute truth. It's just little truths and smashes that's just pixie dust everywhere and we just have to go and pick up as much as we can of it and just fill our own bucket and fill, fill our own bash pockets as fill as, as just fill them up as full as you can and then hope for the best because one day it will be all gone and who knows? Nobody really knows what happens when you die but it doesn't even matter because as long as you lived a bash, decent, respectable life, then oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You've got it. What a shame. What a shame. Desolation. Right? Falling to for the bash counterfeit. To worship a counterfeit bash knowing. A knowing. A counterfeit knowing. Because it couldn't be that you know your creator in the sense of you know there's a God. You know there is a living God who created you and created life. Who knew, right? But no, 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 I just know myself. But who knew that knowing yourself means knowing that you were created? So it all goes back to God. It all does. But no. It's, it's just us, right? It's just us and the past aliens because look! It's just the crop circles, right? It's just the crop circles that you relentlessly worship. But somehow, right? Somehow it's just you. And it could be aliens, but you're not sure. But somehow we're disclosed. You're living as it, it was a disclosed. That disclosure already happened, and it's a post-disclosure era. But one day the governments will admit it, people, right? So aliens did this. And this is just so amazing, right? And this one is, uh, it's a message decoded. It's decoded with a message. And the bash portal is closing. And this is, uh, do not be deceived by some bash false gifts and promises. And this and this. And this is the image they sent back from a signal that we sent out. And this and that. And they're like, no, 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 no. This is it, people, right? This is it, right? It couldn't be that it's Satan. It's deceiving you. That looks a lot like some bash demon. But no, it's an, an alien. It's an alien, people. It's an alien. And these are just so beautiful. And bash sacred geometry. And bash, it all goes back to the double heel. Bash Taurus. And bash, oh, blah, 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 blah. And the spiral, the double helix, and the sacred bash trigonometry. And bash this and this and this and this and this and this and this. And this. Wow. Right. So all of this blows people away and p creates them, in, but just leaves them in a state of skepticism. And they're like, yep. I go. I don't believe any of it. I'm a little skeptic. I love it. I love it all because I don't really believe in aliens, and I don't really believe in anything that would have just done this that I don't understand. No, 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 no. It's just bash. It's just bash guys out there with bash wood clubs just smashing, smashing the dust down, and somehow taking a picture from above, and somehow it's just amazing. People have done it and recreated them, and that they're, 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 some are just. Really good. Maybe they're good, good artists. They have been doing it for a while, so they know what they're doing and this, this, and that. Oh, what a shame! So what's going on? You're like, you're like, no, I don't know. But somehow it's just I'm magnificent, and I love magic, and I love illusions, and I love sleight of hand, and I love it all. I love to be deceived. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I don't know. 
It doesn't matter what these things are because I'm deceived. I'm so deceived that it doesn't even matter what this is because somehow I'm just so deceived. So I wouldn't even know what I'm looking at. But somehow I can, I can look at it and come to believe that it's exactly what I believe it is to be for myself and what I wish it to be and how it just fits into my cookie cutter character and how it uses me to feel good about somehow myself because I know myself so well and I'm getting to know myself even better. Know thyself. The ancient Greek aphorism, know thyself, is one of the Delphic maxims and was inscribed in the pronouns of the temple of Apollo at Delphi according to the Greek writer Pausanias. In Latin, the phrase know thyself is given as a noce, te ipsium, or, or te met nos, nosce, or whatever. Know thyself. Know thyself. Because what does a saving word say? No. Love yourself. as you do your neighbor. In the sense, the love that is given to your neighbor is the same love that has been given to you. By who? Yes. Our creator that loves us. Despite our rebellion, disobedience, and ultimate just defiling of each other. All the while justifying the abuse further because somehow we're in it for ourselves. Because, no, it's just us. And hopefully there's something else out there. Because this gives me hope. And we're just relentlessly sending messages out there. Or, what? Wait. There's a breakaway civilization. And this and this. And people have been channeling for years of past in the year of the age of enlightenment. What? 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 All the Palladians and Galactic family are in and helping us. What? Amazing. Right? So somehow, no, no, no. We're just a bash buggy. Still kicking, trying to figure it out. We're just... The horse and buggy when it comes to technology, but also we're just light years so advanced. But no, right? Everybody bash knows that there's bash ancient aliens and bash gods of the relentless skies that just came down and smashed and gave us everything. But somehow people are just catching up and we're just cooking up a way to become better sorcerers. Right? Because, look, what are we doing? People's minds are blown. They're like, no, 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 no. What is this? Just bashed images of nothing. Ah, just bash images and bash nothing. And this and that and this and more and more of that and less of this. Oh, right, my, just from eating pizza, if your mind gets blown. No. According to Genesis, we all come from Adam and Eve, who had three sons. All the time you need to think about that. Right? And you're like, oh, mind blown. Ah! But you relentlessly believe in Lucy. Wow, it's just defiled. People are just just smashing. Uh, mind blown. No. Pe people want people's, I mean, the ultimate, Satan wants your mind to be blown. That's why we can be surprised. There's no surprises in life. Only 
if you believe that there is nothing. And somehow anything could happen. No. No God, for God is timeless. And every generation, meaning every interpretation of life that came to observe itself in the living, in the only thing that is, of course, they see themselves as what? Yes, alive, and then what? Ah, uh, alone. There is God, the creator of all. And there is resolve. But, no, it's just, there, there's no resolve, people. It's just relentlessly, you're, you gotta go and just find your way. Find where you're going at. Or to. The at sign. No, it's normally read aloud as at. It is also commonly called the at symbol or commercial at. Commercial. Right? Because that's what people are. Just relentlessly traded in the open market. Where are you at? Oh, uh, I'm getting smashed. Where are you at? Uh, me too. Right? That's the true promise of the ways of the world. Of the promise that leads to a bash void. The abyss. Blackness and darkness forever. And Satan is laughing. For he knows that he has very little time. For the actual illusion of time has a result. It's life that has been giving in God's resolve. So it's up to man to see. And yes, we surely know our place in life, which is to worship God. For there's no such thing as a life outside of God. And we're the proof of it, for surely we're all living our own bash artificial character lives and finding ways to fill it as much as we can. And that's how we determine where we're at. Just commercially, just being bash traded because somehow you just say at and it takes you to somebody's address. It takes you somewhere. It takes you. It's an orientation. Everybody just choose where you're going at. And you get there. And you just open your inbox and somehow you bash are able to communicate. So people, just make sure you people, make sure you tell people where you're at and they'll be able to contact you. Okay. Don't worry. That's my place in life. I know where I'm at and, and people know where to reach me. And this and this and that and this and this. And, oh, what shame. What is this? Right? Everybody believing in bash time and the, oh, how much it's worth that this and this. You only have a little life. So enjoy the best. What is going on? No, it's only coming to know life, the true promise. I finally found it. Our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, the saving word, and the Father. Our loving God. Who knew? But no, 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 you can come to know so many things. A once lost treasure that belongs in its rightful place. Now all I have to do is get it in the triangle. Into the triangle. Triangle. Oh, right, learning wagon. 
Oh, right, amazing. I finally found it. A once lost treasure right. that belongs in its rightful place. Im immediately, found. right? Looking immediately looks like Bosch Mars with the rover. A Bosch little pillars. Right? I mean or and the Bosch triangle right here. Just image just bash they're bashing. Of course, smash it's smash hood. So they're just smashing with you more. And somehow this Bosch archaeologist, right, or some explorer is out there digging. And they find the best treasure ever. And they just have to make it fit into something that doesn't fit. So somehow man has carved out some Bosch treasure that he says is everything. And of course it had to be the apple. Or it looks like an apple. And then just bash. And they're like, oh. And then we try to smash it through a triangle. Because that's what we're doing. We're out there sma like abusing life. But we have counterfeited. And Bosch said, oh, the, tr the life is the apple from the, or the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So we're eating from it. But somehow it just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit quite right to what is actually being lived. Meaning, oh, we're just defying it. We want to. It's like the teenager, right? You say that all the teenagers are rebellious and they're rebelling against their parent. Ah, well, so we think ourselves so sophisticated and it's just so eclectic. And bash this is and bash all, oh, and then I'm just I'm just so learned. And well traveled, and just so cold it is, cultured and blah, blah, blah. well read, nothing, right? What are people doing? What are people living, right? They're they're worshiping the the counterfeit, guzzling down the knowledge of good and evil, and worshiping that that. But they don't see that it doesn't fit to what actually is. And then they'll spend the whole life trying to make it fit. Because they say it's the greatest treasure. Well, right? Because they say, well, oh, exactly, life. Life is just a bash and it's so amazing. You can come to do so many things. And have so many bash different feelings and frictions. Wow, amazing. A once lost treasure that belongs in its rightful place. Now all I have to do is... Oh, a long lost treasure, an apple. And now it just has to fit. Oh, right. This is Bash Satan making you, deceiving you into abusing your life and and making it fit to whichever way you want. But it's all just a Bash false promise because it doesn't fit. There's no such thing as fitting outside of God. There's knowing that there's no life outside of God. For life is God. The creator. Who knew? And through his love has man had the ability to repent. And seek shelter in truth. The absolute truth. Of the wisdom of the Father. That alloweth a man to endure in the life. That is timeless. For one day he will perish. In the flesh. Yet. What is lived. What is worshipped. What is certain. And what is forever. Eternal peace and joy and love of course God that is the true promise but somehow it has to be this bash lost treasure that now, now it has to fit and we're making it fit people don't worry guys they're making it fit doesn't matter if it hurts it will hurt for a little while but don't worry because you're not, you don't see yourself as animals, people. But wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I guess we are hot bash apes. But 
No, no, no. But you're not actual animals. Because oh, if you were, look how stupid you'd look, right? Look how stupid you look doing the things that you do because you're just some bash animal, right? It's like, where are you at? Where are my dogs at? Huh? Huh? Where are my dogs at? Huh? Where are my... No, 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 guys. No, no, no. It's just the ad sign, right? It's just the ad sign. Don't you know? No, no, no. You didn't know. You didn't know, and that's why you're complaining. It just passed you... Go into different bash addresses, begging, begging to live, because that's where you thought it was at. But don't worry, you can come to know it and just just understand. Although not included on the keyboard, bash bash, bash successfully typed it as it was added in eighteen eighty nine. Wow! Sometimes they had to change the direction of life because now it can be anywhere. Now you can know, and it's at, and it's the at symbol. And look at all the little teeny tiny symbols that somehow just people know how to read and do it and understand. But somehow that slowly evolved and now we're the superhuman. So somehow we're the superhuman, but we are also animals. We're the best superhuman animal. I mean, we're the best animal. We're the best. We're the super animal. Right, with a super animal that can read all the teeny tiny things and make a little machine that smashes and makes them bosh so we could read them somehow and understand exactly what it means. Whoa. And you're like, whoa, no, 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 that's just basic. It's just very basic, but also very complex. It's super complex. It's just hard to understand. People don't understand and just, it's better just to bash make a computer and dash the symbol for it. Because you know, you certainly know where you're going at because they gave you the right Symbol at the right address. And somehow we'll get to them. Because that's where they're at. Because somehow you didn't know where you were at. So somehow you had to be told. Right where you were at. And use a symbol with it. Oh what a shame. Because you're not an animal people. You're not animals people. But. Somehow you are. You're a bash half ape. But somehow. It doesn't matter. We treat people like people, right? Okay, there's a bash heifer. And the bash heifers are just smashing. Right? Oh. Oh, just relentless. Oh, and there's an actual bash. He's like, no, I can't do anything for you. Nah. And you're just all heifers just bashing out in the little calves and on time, Cancun. Oh, no. And they're just all the relentless people. Are, oh, the past computers can't do anything. No, we can't help you, bud. Or, I mean, cow, we can't help you. Cow, check in desk. Closed. And the, and the bash is just like, no, I, got, I need to get to my bash. I need to get to the slaughterhouse. I'm late. I'm late, guys. I just need to go into the slot. I need. Oh, I was supposed to be there two hours ago. Oh, I'm trying to get to the slaughterhouse, people. Oh. Right, just backed up. Right, just backed up. They're like, guys, look. This is what you're actually. But don't think that you are because we're your people, guys. Your people, but somehow you do this, and somehow this is life. But somehow, just because they look like the things that you call cow, somehow you say, "Oh, how horrible!" Of oh, because cows just gets led to the slaughter, right? Because cows just don't live in herds at all, and don't don't exist like this at all in the wild. They're just somehow just pocked and just rammed and smashed here. But no, because they just live in open farms. And open pastures. There's no such thing as herds or groups of animals. No, 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 no. This is just you and you're being corralled. You're being corralled and treated like a bash animal. You're being treated like a bash animal, people, didn't you know? But wait, you're uh, you are a half, half bash ape. So, well, you're part of you're sort of an animal. 
Airlines should treat people like people. Who knew, right? They say. Oh, and these bashes are getting... Whoa, this guy's looking down at this bash. Whoa, thank you for treating me like a bash person. Thank you. Right, shouldn't that bash get down on his knees to be at the child's eye level and be, Hi, bud, welcome to the flight. <laughs> what a shame. And this and that and this, this and... Whoa, the cows are just smashing. No overbooking. WestJet. Flying above the clouds. TripAdvisor's the best airlines in Canada. Who knew? Because, guys, you're not animals. You're not bash animals, people. And we reward people that treat people like people, right? No. Just deceive it. For everyone that's out there, smash treating people whatever which way they want to treat people. As long as it's, in it, it's good for them. As long as it's good for them, and they don't give a bash. Good for me? Okay, we're good. Because me, 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 and it's all that's all I am. And I know where I'm at. Because, yes, my mind is blown by things that just amaze me, but I know everything because I know that the particles are accelerated and there's everything. All particles are known and we're getting much better at knowing all the particles. So, this is truth. This is life. And surely, this is what it all means. What a shame. What a shame. Repent. Know your creator, the living God. Through his saving word, Christ Jesus. Reveal it to man forever. It is finished. So, do we believe? Do we believe or, or do we continue not believing? And continue believing in a life outside of God for our true promise of whatever shape-shifting life we want to create for ourselves and whatever bash shape-shifting future we want to create and bash the future that we're feared into bash fearing and bash we're trying to bash avoid somehow but let, Satan is laughing for bash everybody's out there thinking they know but somehow being misled and everybody who's misled is following Satan Because Satan promises that, oh, don't worry, you, you can know more. You can know more. And you can certainly know more than God. Because he didn't want you to know. He didn't want you to know, man. He didn't want you to know. What, did he, what didn't he want you to know? Uh, he didn't want you to know life outside of God. So he told you that, listen, you can believe that there's life outside of God, but it's surely death. And the guy was like, okay, I'll go with death. Thank you. All right, amazing. No, what a shame. It was the disobedience. Why? Because it was alluring. It was appealing. To your sight. And it misled you. So do we go with the certainty of the true promise or the uncertainty of, well, it can be whatever you want, bud. Just go out there and try not to hurt people. But you will be hurt and you might hurt others. So, but just wear a helmet, okay? What a shame. Recognize the resolve with the Father, his calling out in life. For you to return to the understanding of the life everlasting and not the false promise of something that will could be achieved if you just try hard enough. But when you don't, pick yourself up and try again. Oh, what a shame. Life is timeless and those with faith endure the life that they have been given. To manifest the will of God that feedeth those who seek the truth. And fill them so as 
they may endure. In the resolve. For God is true. And the truth speaketh. And has. So what do we hear? What do we hear? We'll end it there.